If you're the Bears, you want to keep giving him chances. And Kyle Duggar will take it from midfield. Duggar out to the 40, out to the 30. Duggar had two returns last week against Newberry. Had he been able to get 20 more yards, he would have gotten a third in only a game and not even a quarter. But regardless, Anthony Brown, a great return there for Duggar. That's what he can do, and he's already showing us early on. Lenore Ryan is right on the precipice of quickly going up with only about two minutes gone. And the Bears will crash ahead, and they will get into the end zone for the touchdown, and that's a score for Amin Stevens. The running game works again for Lenore Ryan as Stevens gets the touchdown, and it's 6 to nothing Bears who strike early here in the first quarter. And Duggar, you give him enough opportunities, he's going to bust one out on you, Duggar, this season. 310 return yards. And two of those for touchdowns. Here's Duggar motioning to the outside, to the 20, to the 30, to the 40, to the 50. He'll cut back. Kyle Duggar now to the limestone 40, out to the 30, 20, 10. Kyle Duggar has done it again. The third straight return for a score on an opposition punt. Line of scrimmage, an empty backfield, one in motion. Here's the handoff to Kane Cruz, and Kane Cruz will be wrangled down at about the 36, 37 yard line. First and 10 from the 27, and the Bears are not wasting time. Here's a handoff off to the outside, still crashing through. Room to run. He's going to go all the way. If he can get past the tackle, he can. Touchdown for Bradley Jones. Jones gets into the end zone for the score. And Lenore Ryan leads 20 to 3 as the 5'10, 185 running back from Virginia Beach, Virginia, goes Old Dominion on the Limestone Saints, and he gets into the house. DJ Phillips out there with Malik Brooks alongside. Phillips. Yeah, good little pressure there at the end, and that one is picked off. It got intercepted by Eric Jackson. Jackson is out to the sideline, out to along the 15-yard line. Jackson contributing there on the pressure against D.J. Phillips as Phillips had the ball ripped right out of his hand. He was trying to go forward, and Eric Jackson able to get under that one, and he almost ran it back for a pick six. But if they can seal this off, what a dash to halftime for Lenore Ryan. Looking for a third touchdown in only a couple minutes. Wide open to the end zone. There it is to Amin Stevens. Nobody was on Amin Stevens. He waltzes in right over the N and E in Lenore Ryan. And that's fitting because Amin, A-M-E-E-N, got it into the house. Touchdown Bears, 34-3. to That was nice. Normally see Stevens run it in. And so the Bears here on third and one. Carey pushing straight ahead. I mean, Stevens is there. His third touchdown of the afternoon. Two rushing, one receiving. I mean, Stevens gets into the house, and it's 41 to 3. Lenore Ryan, as a mean, means business. As have done so far on the ground, you know, they're well up over 200, almost 300 yards, and uh, spinning out of one tackle. and now getting out of a second tackle, still on his feet. Goodness gracious, what a run here and a return for Lenore Rines to Quay Mitchell. And Mitchell is still on his feet. He's out to the 20, he's out to the 10, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. Oh, wow, Jaquay Mitchell, the Bailey, North Carolina native, takes it back. And Mitchell not looking back on his way to the end zone. 48-3, to Lenore Ryan. Jaquay Mitchell, just like that, he broke out of two tackles, and he went all the way home. Second and goal from really inside the one. Williams under center. One goes in motion, handoff, Kenny Carter wide open. Number Kenny four. Carter Kenny. rolling in for the touchdown, and that's a new high water mark for the Lenore Ryan Bears as they go up 62 to 17. The previous high was 59 against Morris Hill in the home opener. Erase that, 62 with 63 on the extra point coming.